Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate nails for a shingling job. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is talk about the two types of shingles. We have a three tab shingle, which has three different tabs and two notches. And then we have the architectural shingle, which is solid. And then it has these little flaps on here to give it some texture. Okay, so we'll start off with the three tab shingle. How many shingle or nails does it take to nail on a three tab shingle? Well, you have to look at whether you're in a windy area or not. Okay, if you're in an area that doesn't get a whole lot of wind or you're not a high wind area, you're going to use four nails to nail the shingle down. One on each end and one above each of the, the tab slits. Okay. Now, if you're in a high wind area, then you're going to, they recommend that you put one nail on each side of the Slit, so that would give you a total of six nails per shingle. So again, whether you're in high wind or not, or you're using the high wind method, you're going to use either four or six, six nails per shingle. Okay. Um, over on the architectural shingle, again, if you're not in a high wind area, you can probably get away with four nails per shingle. If you're in a high wind area, then you will probably add a fifth nail. So you're either going to be four or five nails on the architectural shingles. Architectural. Oh, I can't spell that. Architect. Shul. Can't spell. If that's not spelled right. I'm sorry. Uh, terrible speller. Okay. So, either four or six here, or four or five here. So, how many do we need for a job? All right, well, we'll start from the bottom. How many per shingle? We know four or six. So, let's choose one or the other. So, let's choose four. So, four per shingle. Four per shingle. Then, you would figure out how many shingles are in a bundle. So, I have a bundle of shingles in my shop that has... 22 shingles in it, which would be you would 88 nails per bundle. Okay, so per bundle, and then multiply times three because there's usually three uh, bundles per square of shingles. So that's eight times three is 24, 24, 26. So we got 264 nails per. Square. So if you're going to do a roof and you're putting on 20 squares, 25 squares, you would take the number of squares times this number and that would tell you how many nails you're going to approximately need for your, to nail your shingles on. Now, when nailing shingles on, it's not only the shingles, okay? Um, something else would be step flashing. Step flashing is the angled flashing that you put where you butt one wall butts into another one and you would need um, two nails per piece of step flashing. So if you're putting it on 50 pieces of step flashing, you're going to need 100 nails. Okay. Um, if you're doing roll flashing, that's uh, that galvanized flashing that comes in a roll and um, you can bend it or you can put it on flat or however you want it. Um, usually you're going to figure about one nail per foot of flashing. So if you're going to put on, you know, and again you put on 50 feet of flashing, you're going to need at least 50 nails for the flashing. Okay. Um, 
Another one you have to worry about is starter strip. Whether you use um, shingles for your starter strip where you would you would add the four for that um, or you get the roll starter strip where it comes in a roll and you just roll it out um, you're again you're going to use approximately one nail per foot okay um, Again, as we talked in, in other videos, you're going to add for waste. Or, so you're going to add 10% or 15% or 20% for waste. So you have um, always have more, enough nails. You never want to be too short. Okay. Um, and the, another one would be your ridge cap. So that takes two, that's two nails per cap and in there's another video I show you how to estimate the number of caps or tabs caps or tabs let's call them tabs um, how to figure tabs you would need two nails per tab for that purpose okay um, other places you're going to use nails if you have uh, exhaust pipes from your vent pipes from your um, from your, from your bathrooms coming up through the roof, you're going to need a few nails for that. You're going to need nails for um, if your uh, other, um, what am I thinking? Uh, the air vents that come, if you have air vents coming up through your roof, you're going to need them for that. Um, if you're going to put on a, a ridge vent, then you would have to estimate for the number of nails for a ridge vent, but those would have to be longer. Okay, so this will cover most of what you're going to need for nailing on your, um, for your shingles. So um, make sure you try to get them all in there so you don't forget any and end up short. All right, now last question, what size nail do I like to use? Well, I like to use an inch and a quarter nail. If I'm hand driving, they're long enough where you don't bash your fingers when you're um, pounding them in and if you're using a nail gun then they, they fit nicely in a nail gun that's really easy to use okay and make sure that they're either galvanized or zinc coated and if you're not familiar the the roofing nail has a big round head on it so that it, it will grab, okay? Um, if you use, if you don't, another one, if you don't use staples to nail down your, uh, either your ice shield or your um, tar paper, then you would have to figure out, you'd have to add nails for that also, okay? So if you're using nails for your tar paper, you have to figure that in, or your ice shield, ice shield. You could figure nails for that. Okay, so there's a lot more to figuring nails than just what you need for the shingles. Okay, you got step flashing, roll flashing, starter strips, ridge caps, tar paper, ice shield. Um, so make sure you get them all. Um, make sure you get them all. Uh, so you can figure out how many nails you're going to need so that you don't have to run to the store when you get done because oh we're short of nails okay so estimate nails for shingling